Okay, I just want to welcome everyone to our uh, 2013 Detroit Titans Basketball Media Day. Uh, before we get the program going, just want to go over our uh, schedule. We're going to have uh, opening remarks from our uh, new AD, Robert Bowles. We'll then uh, introduce our uh, new partnership with, uh, with uh, CBS Sports and uh, introduce uh, Jimmy Powers, uh, program director for 97.1 The Ticket. Following that, Jimmy will introduce uh, Autumn Rodemaker, our uh, women's head basketball coach, and then she will be followed by uh, Ray McCown. Uh, so uh, following that, the, everyone's invited to go down onto the basketball court, Dick Vitale Court, to do uh, some one-on-one -on -one interviews with, uh, with any of the student athletes, head coaches, even uh, AD, Robert Valls, and, uh, and anybody else. So um, without further ado, uh, Robert Valls. Good afternoon. I want to thank everyone for coming out today. I want to thank the staff. I see some of our loyal supporters, Titan Club, Cal Club. Uh, we've got our media partners that are here today. Uh, this is a great start. We have our wonderful coaches who are going to explain what's going to happen this season and give you some ideas of what's going on. But uh, just to stand in this room and have this room uh, full uh, with people who understand what we're trying to do here at Detroit Mercy is, um, is, is outstanding. Um, and I just want to give you just a little bit of landscape of how things are going at this point in time. Been here for about 90 days. And uh, during this 90 day period, we've begun to put some structure together of how we want this athletic department to, to move forward and go. And within that structure, organization, strategy, and planning, uh, we've brought together a team of people to redevelop our media plan. And our media plan now uh, encompasses a partnership with uh, WADL, as far as television goes, uh, Comcast, CBS Radio. And we've taken uh, some money and reallocated it to spread it around to cover a wider base. And we couldn't be happier to have our media partners here today because we believe that we're going to be able to penetrate the market more than what we've had before. I mean, the fact that we're back on radio and we're going to um, broadcast uh, at least 12 games uh, this year is tremendous. Um, we've listened to our fans, we've listened to our alumni and supporters who want us to get back on radio, so we've done that. We've also taken our TV package and expanded it. We'll have at least uh, 18 games between Comcast and WADL and that's not including our ESPN games. So we're moving to a wider piece. So we're going to be covering uh, the country, if you will, with our games and showing our, uh, our teams. So in, it, it involves men's basketball, women's basketball, uh, soccer, some lacrosse, and, and, and some softball. So we are trying to be more comprehensive in what we're trying to do as far as media partners and getting the word out. Uh, Jeremiah's team in media relations, Gary Lichman uh, are here on campus are doing a great job on the PR side of helping to build the brand, move things forward. I will say this emphatically, and I, and I, I do believe it. I think at the end of the day, we will have one of the most comprehensive media packages within the Horizon League, and I think that's been the goal. Uh, and our goal simply is to be the very best in a Horizon League, and we've got two coaches that, that are going to help us take that way.